birthday celebration. Recently, I accompanied Dunyazard. Alright. Been a while, Dunyazard. <laughs> uh, recently, I accompanied Dunyazard on an um, adventure into the desert. Almost as soon as we got back, he was already running around organizing a birthday celebration for me. I wanted to help out, but she just told me not to worry about anything that turning up looking as good as I possibly could. Aww. So I, I got out my makeup box and tried out several different popular styles of makeup for a whole series of beautiful dresses. Wow, I got dressed to nine. But in the end, I just couldn't decide which look to go for. Only choosing an outfit was as simple as choosing a weapon. Yeah, tell me about it. Uh, anyway, it would mean a lot to me if you came. If you were worried about trudging through the desert after having been away for so long, I'll even bring a sumter beast and come pick you up. Well, uh... uh I mean, thank you, uh, Dia, and happy birthday. Uh, but, um, when it comes to sumter beasts, uh, we got a um, nice way to understand how uh, you have to tame them. Certain of, well request that we did not too long ago on the channel and uh <laughs> and yeah um i could bring my some to beasts and i know how to tame them now so uh yeah and, I, and if i don't remember i should not only ask uh for uh, these two characters were arguing about how to <laughs> well, train their some to beasts yeah uh, it's nice to have a mention of Dunya's art, it's been a while, and, uh, well enough, and great surprise, and happy one to be sure. So, Dunya's art was actually having the, um, find some makeup and some dresses. Yeah. What can't they be together? <laughs> Already. But anyways. Happy birthday, dear. Hope you have a good one. So, this is her signature weapon. I don't think I've seen it before, but... Yeah. Me being of Tunisian origin... Yeah, um... I like... I mean... And of... Well... Arabian origin as well, I'd say. Yeah. This, uh... Special to me, uh, I guess. Um, they are specialty. As you open the unassuming lid, you are greeted with supple meat that turns out to be so tender that one could get drunk on the sensation of it slipping between your lips. It seems that they is that kitchen hand is as steady as her sword arm. Yeah, gold flame to Jean. Nice later on for youtube purposes um so yeah uh lads and ladies around the world uh it's me forever in here and we are back we are back for another genshin impact session and in today's video we are going to tackle um we're going to tackle the rolling crossfire event that uh, we have we saw in the trailer in the special program we have three days remaining so it's going to be interesting to see how this all works to me i think this is the most i mean the funniest event uh that we're going to do today so quite excited about that and as you may have seen as well um well since i'm, <laughs> I'm late to the party um Nivellet and Kazuha's banner are available, so if you want guys to pull for them, then make sure to do so. But I would advise you not to do so, because in in a few weeks now, we are going to see in on the banner and the wishes all the Kino, the knave, and she has a special place in the Fatui Harbingers, and. It's going to be interesting to see how, in her lore, uh, in her story, how she discuss about all the remaining Petrui Halbages that we haven't seen so far. 
And this is going to be quite interesting, I'm sure of it. As well. As well. I'm going to talk to you about something as well. In today's session, I'm sure we're going to do the rolling crossfire event, but we are also going to do the game lets me. <laughs> uh Lynette's hangout, which I hasn't haven't done yet. And so this is going to be quite interesting. I'm sure that um there's going to be a lot of potential and a lot of uh, amazing moments with her. And yeah, this is gonna be this is going to be amazing. Um as for Shiori Story Quest, it's either going to be at the end of this session or next week. If I have the time. <laughs> but yeah. Um that is the how the session is going to be scheduled. So if you guys want to be part of the raw live and edited part of Let's seeing my face together. playing this game and you know you know what to do. Uh come over at twitch.tv forward slash forever when when you can where you can follow me and chat with me live. But also um I would also would be really pleased if you would consider subscribing uh on the YouTube channel, liking the video and uh sharing with your friends and activating the notification bells which will help you when there's the next available video loaded to the channel. As well, uh, if you have any type of comments or recommendations that you would like me to uh, answer to, then make sure to leave them in the comment section down below when, where I'm happily, I'll happily answer you back. Yeah, um, I guess that I rambled long enough. So without further ado, guys, let us begin. All right, there. Thanks. All right, God and the God that seem to be talking about something. Okay. Um. Hello, friends. Uh, hello to you. Um. What business do the gods have with us? <laughs> Why don't you take a guess? Uh, is it that uh, we are we are like um, the super ultimate soldier uh, comets or whatever they were trying um, they were trying to get? It? Are, are we like some sort of super saiyan? And uh, our R I P to Akira Toriyama, by the way. But um, yeah. Hey, why don't you take it as? Yes, um, uh, uh, well, is this about us flying around the city and scaling its walls? Because I didn't do that recently. Or is this about me practicing sword play in the city, which is not going to offend anyone, no? Okay, anyways. Ah, so you've done that too, have you? Hang on, <laughs> add it to the list of charges? What did I do? <laughs> this is preposterous. What did I do to deserve that? Wait, wait, wait. You're trying to trick us, right? No, I'm just joking. Oh, thank God. Um, introductions are in order, I suppose. I'm, uh... I'm Shani? Shani. And this is my senior, Frejus. Okay. Um, uh, my senior has come up with a new invention that needs testing. Okay. Would the two of you be interested in helping? Absolutely. Yes. A new invention? What sort of thing is it? A remote controlled cannon. Love me that cannon. <laughs> As you can see, earlier turrets, uh, turret models require an operator nearby. In which case, an enemy just needs to aim at the cannon to get rid of both. But if such weapons can be controlled remotely, then if such weapons can be controlled remotely, and that means that we can, uh, we can get to shooting. That way, we can minimize casualties. Oh, okay. So you don't want me to, to shoot anyone. Okay. <clears throat> you invented it so easily, too. 
I mean, that's why they call you the god who rejected the Fontaine Research Institute's invitation three times. You rejected three times the Institute. In three times. Three times rejected? Institute? Really? Well... <clears throat> exactly. Let me tell you, they had their eye on him, alright? They would have paid out the nose to have him to do, do high-end research for them. He didn't. But he stayed all this time because he loves his work. He's motivated. Such moving sentiment. Yeah. Even so, he did not bear to let his talents go to waste. I mean, yeah, there's that too. I don't think he accepted um, the invitation because he wanted to be free. Free to do whatever he wanted. And not let, as she said, uh, his talents go to waste. And so he creates new inventions from time to time to help with our work. Sounds awesome. Yeah, it does. <clears throat> you flatter me, Shani. Uh, do you still remember what I said before? The smarter you are, the more important it is to be humble. True that. <laughs> yes, sir. In any case, I'd like the two of you to help us verify the feasibility of this remote control cannon. We've already prepped the field, field, and the targets, and are rest assured that you will be well paid. I like the sound of that. I don't want to be, uh, <laughs> I don't want to be paid for nothing. I don't want to be used for nothing, rather. <laughs> In that case, you've come to the right adventures. The two of us have seen all sorts of stuff during our travels. Yeah, we did. So, yeah, as I said, uh, from Mondstadt to Leeway, these are nations, by the way, from Mondstadt to Leeway, Sumeru, to Inazuma, to Fontaine. And I think that next year, next year, there's going to be a new nation available, which is, which is going to be Fo uh, Fontaine, I'd say. No, which is going to be Natlin, the nation of fire, or pyro, rather. Uh, the two of us have seen all sorts of stuff during our travels. We can help you figure out if your invention's good to go or not. Alright? Nice, in that case, good luck all. Well, this way if you would. Sure. Lead the way. Um, in rolling crossfire challenges, you must use the remote control cannon to fire at slimes. Yeah, which is why I'm, I was going, I was telling that going to be fun. It's going to be so fun firing at slimes. <clears throat> the more slimes you defeat within the time limit, the higher your test score will be. Large slimes are harder to defeat, but the award more points but award more points once failed. Yeah, I get it. Alright. Uh I'm still going to talk to them. What? So, I'm to, to hear some more. What do you think of Fred's remote cannon? I mean, I haven't tested it yet, but it's a rather novel experience, all right? Good, that's good. You don't sound so excited, though. Ah, uh, sorry. I mean, it's not that I don't like it. It's just that I knew what the device would look like the moment I looked upon the blueprint. The blueprint. <laughs> the blueprints. Fridges is the one doing the hard work and does look hard. That's what she said. Uh, I see that he looks nervous. Even this is, n even though this is no big deal, there's no great risk of an accident occurring. A person with a more active mind and ideas than usual. It was a drunk boasting, you know, the whole uh, rejecting the Fontaine Research Institute sulfur three times business. Hmm. He's been putting in the work to protect that lie since. Yeah, but I mean, he's only, he's only humble. I mean, he's, uh, he's trying to do stuff and he's, uh, he's happy about it. Oh, of course, you want me to keep this secret. <sighs> Anyways, reckon he doesn't think I've noticed. And how did you find out? Probably because I really have rejected them myself. I 
Yes. I'm somewhat aware of the standards. As for Fredris, he's a decent ways off from making the cut. Oh. So you're playing along with this of his aunt then? Doesn't know. Then I accidentally give him hints. And he will turn about and cough, pretending that he knew all along. This whole process is quite fun, which is why I do not intend to expose him. Seeing him run around being busy is one of my favorite hobbies these days. Looks like the show will go on then. The show must go on indeed. <clears throat> I imagine it will. For a long time, in fact. I don't know about that. <laughs> as long as I don't tell him, he won't be able to tell. He even thinks that the new commerce party was the first time we met, but it was a long time before that. He's so very inobservant. I'm sure he doesn't remember, or perhaps he doesn't care, who he blocked the bullet for that day. Ah, oh, okay. So, it's more like, um... Yeah, she's, she's helping him out because he saves her back then from a bullet I see so uh, Fredris uh, talk to me so um, it seems like uh, yeah it seems like you have um, quite the experience on your hand right seem like um, uh, yeah three times three times being rejected by the Fontaine Research, Research Institute how does it feel how does it feel? Uh, I don't know. Are the experiments going? I didn't test them yet, but uh, we're having fun. Phew. Glad to hear it. Uh, do even geniuses worry about the experiments? I thought you had confidence. <laughs> uh, it sure would be nice if I really were a genius, huh? Uh, to be honest, uh, I'm just an ordinary fellow who's lived an ordinary life for 30 years. There's nothing special about me. I would have been more enthusiastic just a few years ago, but I was shot while rescuing hostages. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I would have been more enthusiastic just a few years ago, but I was shot while rescuing hostages. And as a result, I often wake up in pain at night, so I ended up like this. I was shot. So, did he did he uh took the bullet for Shani? But he has pain tonight. Yeah, okay. Gunshot wounds tend to be very troublesome like that. Fortunately, all the hostages were saved. With and my, yeah, he might be one of them. That was one of the few highlights of my life. Why does Shani call you a genius then? Oh, um, about that. I took her and the other newbies out for a party when she first joined. And I might have bragged about my abilities too much while drunk. Yes, you did. Three times rejected by the Fontaine Research Institute, yeah. <laughs> about I took her and the other newbies out for a party when she first joined. I might have Right about my abilities too much wild round here. Yeah. All that rejected the institute three times business, yeah. Uh, it was I, in truth, who was rejected. Yeah, who knew? I am no genius, just a normal person who dabbles in little gadgets. Yeah, so you dabble in little gadgets. I didn't expect them to all believe me, and since our patrol work isn't all that interesting, they always pester me with questions when they get bored. As such, I've been forced to continue this charade. We say this charade or this charade? I don't know. This charade? That said, while my work is nothing compared to the Institute's advanced research, I have constructed quite a few small useful inventions. Of course, I make them out of pockets, but I keep those green horns in the dark by saying that they are funded by the higher ups, which makes them sound more cool. Please keep my secrets if you don't mind. Well, I have to keep a secret with Shani, and I have to keep a secret 
with fishes. Okay, so there's a lot of secrets that I have to, to keep, apparently. That's great. Uh, and another secret that I have to keep for myself is that I am the only one remembering in the whole of that greater lord Rukadevata. At least I think. Unless, unless I told Paimon, or Nahida, or Wanderer, or Tempest, as I tend to call him. Yeah, I don't know if I'm really good at keeping secrets, though. This will fall through one day, I know. Yes, I'm aware. But I imagine their curiosity is limited, and in fact, many people have lost interest. Only Shani remains. Once she get she too gets bored, I shan't have to continue. Yeah, but she told me that uh, it might be going on for quite a while now. I don't know. I'm sure it will make me feel a little better and a little disappointed than all at once. She is such as base humanity, I suppose. Yeah, Frigis, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, let me try your little uh, thingamajig here. Okay, guys. Here we go. Let's try this uh, rolling crossfire event. I'm so hyped. I am so hyped. About that. Let's get going. Alright. Um. Standard testing. First round. Mechanical device preview. Uh, unending firepower. After unending firepower is struck by any shell, the turret will switch to continuously firing special sh special shells, which deal physical damage to opponents. The switch lasts six seconds. If this device is not hit within a certain period of time, it will disappear. Before beginning testing, I want to have a uh, testing guide. Like some sort of, yeah, tutorial, I suppose. Uh, which is not going to be uh, too difficult to understand, obviously. Um, so, this is what I read, right? Okay. Oh, wait, 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 more. Uh, the cannon will face along the axis linking your character and the cannon. Wait, wait. The cannon will face along the axis linking your character and the cannon. You can adjust the turret's aim by moving your character, so it's the character that you have to move, not the, the other way around, right? Uh, press the fire button button to control the cannon remotely, because need to fire the shell currently loaded in the direction it is aiming, so reactions here are quite important. The overloaded reaction, the melting reaction, uh, the superconduct reaction. I don't know if there are um, dendro reactions. Hi, Chongjin33. <laughs> Hello, thanks for tuning in. Uh, yeah, we're, we're doing the rolling, rolling crossfire event. I'm quite hyped about that. Uh, turn load in the direction it is aiming. After firing, the cannon will immediately uh, <laughs> one of the three random elemental shell, shell types, so there's no dendro. Electro, Pyro, or Cryo. No, not even Hydro. Okay. I'm good, I'm good. Thanks for asking. I hope you are doing well. Look at the color of the aiming guideline to see which type of shell has been loaded. Uh, wait, look at the color of the aiming guideline. Okay, I see. Yeah. I understand. Uh, after elemental shells hit different slimes, it will deal the corresponding elemental damage and trigger special effects. Right, so yeah. Yeah, I'm doing the event for the first time. This is my first time looking at the event. I know there's three days remaining, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to do it. <laughs> Operation Overload. I, I know it's quite fun. I know it's quite fun since uh, uh, Zach kept tell telling in the, in the special program how fun it was going to be. But yeah, I'm hyped about this. Uh, Operation Overload. Causes an explosion, sending nearby opponents flying. Rigid Frost deals cryo and physical damage over a wide area, decreasing all elemental res for opponents in the area. Oh, it honestly wasn't super fun. My 
opinion, but good primos. Oh, it wasn't super fun. Uh, what? I, I I won't say what decreased your 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 opinion for this event specifically. Was it the fact that it was just rinse and repeat or anything like that? I don't know. But yeah, I yeah I saw there was there was going to be good primos related. Aggressive ablation, flash ablation, yeah. Ah, I see, yeah. Greatly enhances its attack, increasing its AoE and dealing additional physical damage. Eating slimes of the same elemental type as the shell will have no effect due to immunity. Yeah, I mean, as is obvious <clears throat> in the program. <laughs> the turn will charge up over time. But thank you for the for the follow, uh, Krondin. Thank you. The turn will charge up over time. Once it has accumulated enough energy, it will approach the turret and consume the energy to fire off a powerful piercing shell. Wow. The turret, the turret can store energy for up to two such piercing shells. Alright. Uh, what about this? Standard testing details. Standard tests are time-limited time -limited challenges. In such tests, slimes will not move. So... In the standard tests, slimes do not move, but in the other tests, they do move. I mean, this is kind of obvious, I suppose. Uh, you can also use special equipment that will appear on the field as you operate the turret to defeat more slimes. There we go. Let's see the testing rewards first. Okay, A2 promo gems. And, uh, hey, if we're pulling for Alachino, then of course I'm going to need all the promo gems I can get. All the intertwined fates. Uh, yeah. Just want to shoot some slimes. Alright. Three, two, one. Begin! Let's go! Shoot them! Shoot them for your lives! Wait. Is it ready? Oh, okay, so you have to... Hey. Okay. Shoot. Regressive ablation. Why do you want me to do that? Wait, wait. Good for your lives. <laughs> Physical damage. Oh, wait. No, I didn't do that. This is... Stop changing the... <laughs> Why am I? Why am I shooting there? <laughs> okay, okay. Damn it! Damn it! This is more complicated than I thought. To be honest. Oh, move away! Ooh. All right. Fly away. <laughs> oh. Here. Uh. Do this. There, there. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> okay. No. Not even that good in this game. What is this? How much time I have left? 14 seconds? No! What is this? Which? Get this! Get all of them. Alright. Uh, is it a good combo? I don't know. Longest good combo. What is this? What is this? Okay. Um. I don't know if that's, if that's a good score or not. Um, yeah, okay. I want, I want to restart this. I want to restart. I want to restart. I feel like did not do, do that great. You gotta be changing me. Stop changing me. Oh. All right.
Yeah. <laughs> they are inverted. <laughs> it's so weird. But why would you invert them? Is it, is it because of uh, the fact that they are focused on the character and not the canon? Which is why it is inverted? Yeah. Okay, uh, I don't think I'm going to get higher than that. Uh, it's, it's, it seems like a good record to me, but yeah. All right, let's see. So, uh, I mean, yeah, okay. 3,000 test points you have to get. So it's not that bad. All right. Uh, 80 of those. It's nice, nice. All right. Let's go on to the section one. Oh. Get sent to fire interruption. All right. Good. Um. What is this? Oh, this is a new game. Gizmo. First round. So this is the unending firepower. Physical damage. All right. Loaded field. After loaded field is struck by any shell, it will create a hazardous zone that will continuously pull nearby slimes in and deal physical damage to them. If this device is not hit within a certain period of time, it will disappear. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Alright. Let's have a look. See how that goes. First, first uh, impressions. First impressions. Not that bad. It's not as bad as, bad as you said, Chongjin. Um, it's not as bad. I mean, in my opinion, it's it's just inverted controls. The inverted controls is what is is what is throwing throwing me off right now. But I guess that as we go on, I'll get used to it. <laughs> uh, stress tests are time limited challenges. During wait during such tests, slimes will continuously move toward a withdrawal zone. Withdrawal zone, all right. Once the slime reaches the withdrawal zone line, it will immediately retreat and not add to your test score. Oh, so this line here, okay. Uh, seize the moment and defeat as many of them as possible before they withdraw. Yeah, well, uh, I guess it's your sin and done. Oh, so which is why you have to uh, fire this in order to not let them withdraw. <laughs> uh, so this test adds the mechanical device known as loaded field, yeah, which can be used to support the turret tests. After loaded field is struck by any shell to create a hazardous zone, yeah, we already saw that. All right, inverted cannon. Here we go. So this is the withdrawal zone, the line rather. All right, I have to make them not move too much. Have to make sure that they do not. They're trying, as... They're trying as well. No, I will not let you. <laughs> I will not let you go there. Change. All right. Make sure that. All right. That's good. That's good. That is wicked. Nice. At least no one is getting away <laughs> from my watch. Okay. That's good. Get away. Get away. No. This. Wait, no, no. Oh, come on. So because of the overloaded reaction uh, thingy, it does not let you pulls them on the side, but not going to help. Now, let's change it to micro. I will not let you go further. You shall not pass. Literally, you shall not pass moment. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> change. change it. Why are these slimes so tenacious? This is, this is not fair. Move away. 
it. Okay. Get as much of them as possible. Alright. That's the end already? Wow. Okay. Now, that is what I call, um, wretched. The new wretched. <laughs> Not that bad. I mean, it's just shooting and making sure that no one crosses the line. The, uh, withdrawal line. Yeah, but yeah, this is the, literally a, a, Lord of, a Lord of the Ring <laughs> moment with Gandalf. You shall not pass. <laughs> That's great. That's so great. Um. Okay. Now let's get all this. Nice. Now let's move over to the... Wait. First round. Starting standard tasting first round. Uh, stress testing first round. And now it's the standard testing second round. Okay. So in the standard stats, oh uh, well, in the standard testing, slimes do not move. I, mean, I think. I really hope that uh, lights it, lights it. Uh, I mean, as much or even more than I do, because he was so hyped during the the special programs. So. Yeah. Let's see now. How that goes. It is! <laughs> Alright. So they not move. They don't move. Uh, I have to save that because there are no... Oh, now I can. What's the, what's the piercing shell? <laughs> Ryo. Okay. Uh, well, I can deal with this. There is a piercing shell. I mean, those I think are piercing shells. Uh, okay. Um, let's have a look. This is not a piercing shell. All right. Uh, there. I want to deal with this cryo group. Immune. He's immune. <laughs> oh, these are piercing shells, though. Want to make sure that everything goes right. There. Okay. Change. <laughs> oh. Destroy them. <laughs> Rather. Nice, nice, nice. The final score, the final test points recorded is 8,600. That's amazing. That's, uh, that's a new record. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're not moving, so that's really great to see. All right. Uh, oh, so yeah, as I said before, this is the second round of stress, test stress testing. And they have the loaded field that I'm going to abuse, <laughs> obviously. And the sword strike, nice. Uh, this is going to help me much more than just uh barrier or the obstacle that uh, they put through. They get pushed for... I will not let them. <laughs> Alright. Piss in shells again. Nice, nice, nice. I need those. For the finishing touches. 12,000. Nice. I think I'm doing, I'm doing great. I mean, it's... It's not too bad when you understand the core principle. But yeah. The fact that it's inverted, it's getting, it's um, taking quite a lot used to, and yeah, can be um, pretty um, ridiculous at times. 
Uh, but yeah, it's not bad. It's been worse. Now we're on to the final uh, test here. The limit thing. Now we literally, we literally, literally have everything <laughs> at our disposal. Is it um? It's, it's not a stress testing. But what is what is the, the the change or the configurations for the limit testing then? I don't know. Guess we'll see. All right, limit tests. Our time limited tests. Okay, yeah. I guess I guess that earlier, in which the remaining test progress will continuously take down. Ah, so it's um, a, 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 it's test progress. It's not a, a like a, the withdrawal zone or something like that. Okay, continuously take down, with the challenge ending once the test progress hits zero. Uh, use that the turret to defeat slimes. Receiving test time rewards and re increasing your test progress. After the test begins, the test difficulty will increase at intervals, which will increase both the rate at which test progress declines and the school multiplier for defeating slimes. Alright. It's time to finish this event. Let's go. Unless I do horrible. Okay. So far, where's the piercing shell? Oh, so those are piercing shells. All right. I, I see. I can see the differ the difference. Hi, <laughs> <Aye, aye. laughs> <Aye, yeah. laughs> As you taught, as you who tell, was best sometimes. Hi, yeah. Side change <laughs> bullets. This difficulty increased. All right, time to fire away. <laughs> let's uh, let's gra grapple hook some of them. Increased again. So you increase. Okay. Please give me that. Move. <laughs> like... Not even reach that one. That's, that's um. Yeah, that's um. Great. Great. Okay. Get rid of uh. Everything that is uh, here trying to impede my progress. <laughs> Again? What is the difficulty now? Because uh doesn't seem too bad. It's just the test countdown is a bit different, but apart from that doesn't seem too uh well difficult. Alright. Move on. Okay. Good. Let's move on. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. The the test countdown is Alright. Alright. I have to, I have to I have to defeat everyone here. Make sure that um I have the maximum amount of points. seems like as long as I fire uh, a bullet here, it seems like it uh, decreases the test countdown. But difficulty level 9. And uh, 17,000. It's almost eight, 18,000 points. Yeah, I guess I'm good. <laughs> I did more than enough. 
All right. Uh, yeah. I, I, are you sure you want to do the test? Yes. I did everything. Unless I'm, I've forgotten something, but I don't think I did. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, this event is, uh, I mean, was funny. And also stress-inducing because of uh, the fact that uh, the overload, the overloaded reaction can sometimes push the slimes into the withdrawals, withdrawal line, which uh, is honestly not really good. <laughs> it, seems, it seems like it's because of our, it's, it's our fault. Uh, for slimes to be <laughs> moving to the withdrawal line. It's not. It's just how the overloaded reaction works. And, well, the inverted controls first were, seemed, seemed kind of awkward. But as time went on, I got used to it. I got used to it. It wasn't that much of a problem anymore. But yeah, uh, I think that we are going to have a follow up with um, Frejus since we finished uh, the event. Yes, I think. Oh, touching again. The data indicates that this invention is a success. Thank you both. Well, uh, the pleasure is mine. Yep. Thanks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, I told you this would go well. If your genius and play, Frederick, this remote control cannon thing was a piece of cake. I suppose. In that case, let's get tracking with the next awesome gadget. And I have a great idea for one too. What? What about an airship that can explore the skies? Um, Jenny, uh, I don't think you realize that uh, there's already something similar to that. You know, the Antoine Rogers uh, scattered around Fontaine. Yeah, and they are. Lit it, I mean, they are quite like an airship that can explore the skies. Not just, not all the skies, obviously, just the skies of Fontaine. Even though, uh, even though um, the skies of Tavat are fake, but um, that's, the, that's just another topic. <clears throat> um, or a mega drill that can bore deep underground. Uh... Feels like she's trying to make his life difficult on purpose. Those might be a bit of a tall order. I mean, you're the one who rejected the Institute's offer three times. Rotation, you stop it. I'm sure you can make stuff even they can't, right? Of course. Uh, I can only say that it will be tricky, not a big deal. Yeah, right. <sighs> you know what? I don't want those things anymore. Flying up into the sky or delving into the earth both sound boring. It's cold up there and stuffy down there. Okay, so I share that sentiment. In that case, did you make something that would use normally? Oh, that's right. I love sleep sleeping in the mornings. So could you make an automatic oven that creates on its own? Well, now that sounds possible. Her earlier suggestions were intentionally impossible, I think. Alright, let me consider how this might be designed. Nice. I'll take that as agreement. And if it does prove impossible, you'll just have to make me breakfast in the future. Huh, Frigis? Is she in love? Is she in love with Frigis? Because he saved her life back then? I, I think that might be the case. It is... Yeah, Ooh, there's a saying in French, a saying in French that says um, uh, qui aime bien châtie bien, uh, which might translate in English to um, 
who loves will uh, often <laughs> often um, well make things harder or difficult for the other or for the one they love and in this situation yeah you can think there's some sliver of romance between the two even, <laughs> even though they do not see it themselves and then yeah what what sort of request is that in any case you, you needn't worry i'm sure such a small invention is well within my skill i am after all a genius for the future's sake experiments rest completed <laughs> <laughs> 